Hello YouTube, as you can see, I also have Binding of Isaac Breath of the Lamb, so without any further delay, let's give it a shot. I'm not sure how this is going to work, so we'll see. The hope is that you can hear the game as well as me. So yeah, we're all random. Ugh, I'm not fond of Samson. He's okay if you can get lots of small enemies, but usually... Boy, like, the Binding of Isaac doesn't allow for that, so let's just see how we do. First room is easy enough, a couple of double spitters and some charges, as I call them. I come up with my own names for the enemies. I know it's I know they have I know the game comes with its own names, but not to that, so I'm sticking with my names. What's this? Magic mushroom, all stats increase. Sweet. Pity it also increases your hitbox by the look of it. Okay, oh well, let's just eat Oh, I hate these butters. Okay, that's one gone. Let's just Swing around here. Whoops, ow. That's two gone. Whoopsie. Back. And that's three gone. Phew. That was too close. Oh, Glutterly, hello. Fancy meeting you up here. I'm just going to dodge your side shot. Yeah, this is actually a really easy way to beat him. Just try and trig trigger. Ow. Okay, I take that back. It's not perfect. Just try and trigger one attack, then move about to hit him from another angle while he's using the blood beam. And if he uses a radio shot, just keep your distance. Um, yeah, there's nothing else to this for. There is actually nothing else. And the key I need to unlock that chest down there is behind a bomb rock, which I don't have. So let's find. Oh, Steven. I didn't expect Steven. Let's go! Let's go! Stephen is similar to Gemini with one's ex with two exceptional problematics. One, the mini Stephen sticks very closely to the original Stephen. Two, when neither of them die, they both explode in a radial blood shower. So let's just keep skirting around him. Just pepper him with the occasional oh crap. Yeah, that's a note that's another point. If you hit the little, if you hit the big Steven too much, the little Steven just goes AWOL. I mean, look at them both. I would stop and pepper the big one, but the little one's still after me! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh, oh, thank goodness that was too close. <laughs> no, never, I've never been a holy man, so you'll have to forgive my um, excessive use of the Lord's name, if you do believe in it. If not, don't worry. Let's just pew, pew, pew. Ah, Samson, why do you fire so slow? At least I'll get it. Um, little Steve or Steve. I never know which comes from. Oh, there we go. Big Steve's dead. Let's take off the little guy. Um, so yeah, you saw the radio thing I was on about. Uh, pew, 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 pew. Come on, stop moving. I'm trying to shoot you here. Hello. Uh, yes, there we go. That's actually one of the little Steve's greater weaknesses. If you get him in the corner like that, you can just keep firing at him and the knockback will just knock him back and forth, back and forth. He has very low HP and I like abusing that. Okay, so, floor one, three minutes-ish. That's, that's not too bad. Let's keep going. Um, potatoes. That would be beautiful, I just need a bloody bomb. So yeah, we've got a couple of spider hoppers, and a couple of spiders hidden away. Okay, that's one of them gone. Let's just try and coax him out. There we go, he's dead. <laughs> no bomb. So we see what's this way. Oop, oh bugger, oh bugger. Phew, oh god, an ow! That one hurt. It's just, ow. Okay, there he goes. A key! Useful for the treasure room. <laughs> Speak of the devil. But yeah, useful. Oh, god damn it, he already spawned. Twice! Plummet X, that's a lesson. Thrice! Good lord, stop spawning, man! Or, well then, cocoon thing. Just stop, okay? He's dead, so we don't need to worry about it again. Just try and kill the guy. Grab the heart, and then we'll see what we get. We have. Is that the Horror of Babylon? That is the Horror of Babylon. So if I ever drop down to half a red heart. I'll basically go magic crazy and have a damage Wee! There he goes, that was faster than I expected. As I was saying, so I drop below a heart, so I get a significant damage increase. 
Okay, this one looks a bit convoluted, but it works for me, so... Tight corridors are no good for invasion, but it is good for pinning them down. Ugh, sheesh. Alright, let's just, let's just keep going. When are we going to get a bomb? I've seen two rocks that require bombs now. The one in here, and the one back up in the treasure chest room. So I got that. Boom. Okay, that's one gone. Oh good lord. Seriously, I need three bombs. Ow. Ugh. Okay, right. The treasure chest up here takes priority because it's also got a X rock. Boom! Okay, I'll draw one. Well, that takes care of one of the. Ow! Red fires. Why did I say ow? That didn't hit me. There we go, it comes with the second bomb. No, I prioritise the bomb rocks, actually. I call them bomb rocks, but they're all bomb or ball. Um, you know what I mean. The rocks with little crosses on them. You know, the whole X marks the spot routine. Anyway, let's have a look see through here. The Duke of Flies. Okay, so Duke of Flies in this colouration is pretty simple. He just spawns various types of flies. Some of them home, some of them don't. They make it works brilliantly for Bloodlust because I can just power through him like this. When he does that expulsion thing, he's actually repairing all of his barrier flies, so they will come charging at you instead. As you can guess, that's quite problematic. And here we have the super bandage. Increases your red heartage by one and gives you two soul hearts. And as you can see, it gives you a little plaster and a flower as well. Very nice. So, just check, is there anything else we need from this floor? Is there anything else we can get from this floor? Well, there's a half a heart here, let's grab that. Alright, um... In the next floor we'll go over the 10 minute mark, so I'm going to cut recording here and catch up with you on the next floor down. So, bye for now.